Welcome back. This weekend may be the first Easter gathering for many of us in a couple of years. So here to bring us back with a bang is Chef MDP. He is making smoked lamb for our daily dish, Brave Soldier, outside. But Chef, I don't see a smoker. So what are we doing here? You do not see a smoker, but that's okay. I'm going to do a, so if you don't have a smoker, I've got just a beautiful gas grill here. I'm making a smoking pouch. So super easy. Let's not stress. Let's keep it simple. It's Easter. Let's have fun with our friends and family. So wood chips. I'm using apple wood chips. And I've taken a sheet of tin foil. And we're going to make a foil smoking pouch. So my apple right in the middle. The reason I'm using apple for this, I'm making the lamb lollies. It's going to be sweet. A lot of citrus notes. It's going to be beautiful. You just want to simply fold this up. You're creating just the easiest little pouch of all time. A smoking pouch. That's exactly what this is. And no, I have not uh, moistened. It's not wet foil. Reason being is the, the wood chips itself, I've kept them dry because I want them to smoke. What I'm going to do is I'm just poking a few holes in the top. Just like that, you can turn any gas grill into a smoking. So, we'll pop that right in. Smoke, smoke away, and away we go. Little chef tip, little pro tip. We've got a beautiful rack of lamb. Ask your butcher every single time to French it, removing the fat cap and exposing the bones all the way through. This way, you have a beautiful lamb lolly. We're going to see it right now. Okay, I like that pro tip, and that looks fantastic. So why not get your butcher to help uh, when they can before you bring it home? All right, for folks at home, this is what you're going to need for the recipe. Take a good look because you're going to want to replicate this. And now let's get started. MDP, where do we start? Okay, so first off, we're making our beautiful marinade rub. So I've got that grill. I've got it ripping hot. It's 400 plus degrees. I've got beautiful za'atar. Za'atar, it's thyme, oregano, uh, toasted sesame seeds, sumac. So picture, Trace, something sort of woodsy with a little bit of citrus notes. Beautiful. Uh, garlic, two tablespoons of garlic, chopped, ready to go. You can use fresh or dried parsley. I actually prefer to use dried parsley for any time I'm making a rub on a lamb because it's just going to adhere to it really nicely. Uh, and the consistency is perfect for it. Salt, pepper. We need lots of salt and pepper. And I'm going to just use some butter. I've got about a half a cup of butter here. And I just want to bring that all together. How early yes. do you want to put that smoking pouch in the barbecue? So I want to put that on for about 10 to 15 minutes because you're going to start getting that wood chip just really smoking nicely through. Uh, that wood pouch, if you're smoking something for maybe anything over an hour, replace it because that wood pouch is, or the smoking pouch is going to be good for about 45 minutes to an hour at max. Okay. So, good tip. Tracy, if you can see here, I just have this beautiful. Look at that. Like, look at this encrusting that we're doing on. I don't even know if that's a real word, but we're going to use it. <laughs> encrusting. Look at this. Like, look at this. This is just Easter. It screams Easter to me, right? So let's just bring that right over to the grill. Okay. It's fun. So we've got our grill ripping. We've got it nice and hot. Look at that smoke just coming right out of those smoke packets. And what you want to do is you want to go skin down. So I'm going to go skin down. We're going to expose that, sear it for five minutes. So we're searing our lamb. We want to get a beautiful crust on there. We're going to take it off and remove it and put it onto the opposite side of the heat. You can flip it periodically for about 15 minutes. Okay. So temperature you're sitting at 400. If you have a digital thermometer, I strongly advise using it. Do not overcook lamb. For anybody out home, please, so undercook it. You're looking to reach with your digital thermometer anywhere between, say, 135 to one, you know, 130 to 135 max. And okay. what we want to do, it's going to, when you're letting it rest, which we're doing right now, we've taken one off, so the power of TV, we've got a beautiful sear going on there. We're just ripping that, and it's going to keep it beautifully tight and that flavor locked in. I've taken one off, Tracy, and we're going to show that to you right now. Okay, beautiful. I'm. That so look, looks amazing. Look and at this. you know look what? At this. That looks gorgeous, but you have even more. So you're also going to be grilling up sides. What else are you putting on the grill? We are. So what we've done ahead of time, we've taken uh, sweet potatoes. So we've got beautiful sweet potato wedges. And what I've done is I've part cooked them ahead of time. So part cooking a sweet potato, I usually take it for about, if it's a large sweet potato like this, maybe 20 minutes or so, let it cool, cut them into wedges. We've done this and we've made beautiful, beautiful sweet potato wedges. So I've got a wicked little sauce with this as well too. Simple, easy. So tahini, one cup of tahini, maple syrup, two tablespoons. We're just gonna bring that all together. Some fresh lemon as well. Just get that lemon just going right in there. And I'm just gonna 
drizzle this over at the same time we've got our look at this can you just see the grill marks on those by the way look at these sweet potato beautiful. wedges uh, so anything you're getting with maple syrup grill? for me to give it that little punch of sweetness, I am in. And I'm always looking for different sauce ideas just to like mix up the vegetables so that you can make them taste different every time. So this is a good one. Tahini, Couldn't agree more. maple syrup, it, I like that. Look at that. Like that's just a stunning little dish. So dish number one, straight up. Here we go. Next, Trace, let's get right to the, the showstopper here. We want to get right into our lamb lollies. Do you like that name, the lamb lollies? I love that name, the lamb lollies. We're almost right? out of time, so I'm right? glad the uh, hero is there. If you want to serve that up yes. on your plate. Look at these. Nice. Oh, my. Can you, Do I need to move that bowl by chance so you can see this on camera? I'm I sorry can still to say see this. it. No, the bowl I can see. If you just put the uh, lamb lollies on top, we're going to be able to see the whole thing. Oh, okay. Now I can't see okay. it at all. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Let me move that back. It's so, all right. We're all salivating on the lamb right now, so don't worry yeah. about it. You should see this lamb. Garnish and go. Beautiful. Look at that beautiful crust on there. Cooked to a perfect medium rare. Like, that is Easter. Let's just have a moment here and enjoy this. Holy. There you have it, everyone. Easter on a couple of plates. He's serving it up. That is one delicious Easter dinner. Now, if you want to make his smoked lamb this weekend, we've got the full recipe for you at CityLine.tv. Try it out. Great job, Chef.